Uh, we have uh, two very distinguished uh, gentlemen uh, that have been kind enough to, uh, to join us uh, tonight, and I'd like to turn the program over to uh, Councilman Rob Quinn and Councilwoman Paula Metzler uh, to, uh, to uh, present the information to these two gentlemen. Good evening, thanks for coming. It's always a great honor and so much fun to honor our student athletes in our community. And before I read the proclamation that um, is contained for each of this gentlemen here, um, all I can say is wow. <laughs> wow, what you guys have done. Um, this is a proclamation from the town of Penfield to two uh, Aquinas football players. The town board of the town of Penfield is proud to recognize its student athletes who achieved success in the classroom as well as on the sports field. Michael Messina, a resident of the town of Penfield, is a senior at Aquinas Institute. Michael is a three-year running back on the Aquinas Institute varsity football team, which won the Section 5 Class A football championship on November 6, and then went on to win the New York State football championship on November 26, 2010. I will interrupt and say my husband went to Cardinal Mooney. And so fortunately, <laughs> Cardinal Mooney is closed, so I can still enter my home tonight, I think, giving this proclamation to Aquinas. Uh, well done. Uh, Michael was a major contributor to his team's success over the last three years, compiling a record of 33 wins and two losses during his tenure as a varsity player. And whereas on the way to completing an undefeated season of 13 wins and zero losses, Michael led his team in victories over teams from Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, and New York. <coughs> Michael was instrumental in defeating the previous New York State champion Sweet Home High School of Buffalo and ending its three-year, 36-game winning streak. So teams in Buffalo tend to lose, huh? Uh, which to that point was the longest winning streak in the state of New York. Michael has completed his football career with 3,523 rushing yards, 40 offensive and defensive touchdowns, and upon graduation has been granted a scholarship to play lacrosse at Syracuse University. That's probably the most important part for me because I'm a lacrosse mom. So, well done. Michael's football team also won the New York State Public Athletic Association Scholar Athlete Team Award for 2010. I'm gonna highlight this. All varsity football teams in all classes with the New York State, uh, Aquinas won the award with a cumulative grade point average for their team of 95.838. And I think that's just tremendous to carry your, your course load as well as your athletic um, responsibility as well. Now therefore be it resolved the town board of the town of Penfield congratulates Michael Messina on his achievements both in the classroom and on the athletic field and wishes him great success in his future endeavors. I can tell you as a former student athlete myself, um, keep up the discipline through college, it will carry you very far. Congratulations. Thank you. I have the privilege of presenting a second proclamation this evening, this one to Alec Canton. I was uh, mentioning to both Michael and Alec earlier that my father is a uh, graduate of Aquinas, and uh, through him I've actually been following uh, your accolades in the football team for the last couple of years. I've actually uh, joined my father on a couple of occasions to watch you play, uh, so I hope to uh, have more opportunities in the future to see some regional games and possibly a state championship myself. But this one is for Alec. Uh, whereas the town board of the town of Penfield is proud to recognize its student athletes who achieve success in the classroom as well as on the sports field. And whereas Alec Canton, a resident of the town of Penfield, is a sophomore at Aquinas Institute. And whereas Alec demonstrated his athletic abilities to such a degree that he was able to try out for and make the Aquinas Institute varsity football team as a sophomore. The team won, a section five, won the Section 5 Class A football championship on November 6th, and then the New York State Public High School Association Class A football championship on November 26, 2010. And whereas Alec, as a defensive end and a special team player, was a major contributor to his team's success throughout the 2010 season, helping it compile a record of 13 wins and zero losses. And whereas Alec contributed to his team's victory over the 2009 New York State Champion Sweet Home High School of Buffalo, ending its three-year 36-game win streak, which to that point was the longest winning streak in the state of New York. And whereas, Alec will return to play varsity football in 2011 as a junior, 
to assist his team in defending its 2010 state football championship. So with much uh, luck in the future, Alec, congratulations and best luck to you next year. So at this, at this point, um, I'm going to uh, put an individual on the spot, um, and, uh, but I know I've known him for over 30 years, and I know he can handle it. I'd ask uh, Mr. Costello, Jim Costello, who's our uh, developmental services uh, director, to come up. And uh, my understanding is I spent a little time uh, at Aquinas as well. And um, Jim, I uh, thought it might be appropriate uh, for you to say a few words on behalf of, uh, of Mike and Alec. Thank you, Tony. Uh, when you said 30 years, I knew exactly who you were talking about. I don't think there's anybody else here that you and I have been dealing with for 30 years. So I just want to say how proud I am of both of you. I've been watching you. Actually, I've been watching you for four years, and I've watched you for uh, the last year, and I see greatness in both of you. Um, I'm very proud of the fact that, number one, you won the state championship, but more importantly, you were the number one team with the highest academic rating in the state of New York, and that's very important. That's, that's the whole issue is academics. So I encourage you to continue your academics. Um, it's the most important thing in your life at this point in time. In your life, it'll drive you for the rest of your life. Um, so best wishes to you in uh, Syracuse. Uh, we'll be coming out to watch you. <laughs> and best wishes to you for the next few years. We'll be watching you as you grow and and become a man as uh, well, and uh, wish you all the best. Thank you, Mr. Supervisor. Thank you. And thank you, board members. I appreciate it. Michael, Alec, uh, the best to you, to both of you, for the rest of this school year. Uh, as you head to Syracuse, uh, good luck. I, I know you'll do well, and we'll be re reading a little bit more about you. And Alec, uh, it sounds like uh, you will help uh, lead Aquinas uh, to defend that uh, championship very well. And uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you and uh, reading about you as uh, well. So thank you for taking time out of your very busy schedules. Um, I know that uh, this time of year gets a little bit crazy, and uh, we really appreciate you taking the time. And for us to be able to recognize uh, two individuals that, that really uh, are individuals that uh, will be our future leaders uh, within this community, or other communities and uh, all too often uh, we hear a lot of the negative or the bad uh, side of things and I would submit to both of you uh, that's a very small percentage and unfortunately the media tends to play that up a little bit more than you'd like uh, but I think uh, both of you represent a majority of the students out there and uh, we're honored uh, that you could be with us and uh, we're honored that you're part of Penfield so thank you very much a Merry Christmas to both of you happy holidays to you and your families and uh, we look forward to uh, seeing you more uh, in the in the paper and the local media. So very good, thank you. And we're gonna we're gonna continue on. Uh, this was the very exciting part of the of the meeting. Uh, from here, it starts to go down a little bit. And if you wish to sneak out, we understand that because we know there's probably things like uh, homework and uh, getting back and uh, family duties. So uh, again, thanks for being here, and uh, feel free to uh, to slip out as we continue on to the next phase. Thank Great. Thank you very much. Thanks.